it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So I just finished putting this together. You can catch that on my YouTube channel. Um, the design portion and the assembly portion. What I'm gonna show you right now is how to put it on a foam board. So right now, look at how awesome this is. The other cool thing is his face is actually, um, it's a luminous HTV. So it, yeah, I ironed it on and it's gonna glow in the dark. So it's gonna be so awesome. But anyway, in the meantime though, we wanna make sure he's sturdy and stable and that you can prop him up against um, a table, a wall, or it's easier, once he's propped up on a foam board, it's also easier to put it onto um, the wall if you wanted to more permanently. Okay, so the way I do this is I get the foam board, it's from the Dollar Tree, so it's a dollar, it's 20 by 30 inches, and so it fits most of my characters. And even when it doesn't, for the slightly bigger characters, um, it's okay that not everything is completely 100% covered. If your character is even, I would say, 80% covered, it's gonna give you the stability that you need. Um, but you also wanna be careful, right? Like, um, you can always do a little bit diagonally um, to get a little bit more on here. Now for my really, really big characters, like my Jasmine and my, princess to uh, my toddler princesses, um, I end up putting two foam boards together. And what you would do then is you would glue it right here. I would use a hot glue gun, glue it together, and then um, stabilize it with, I do wooden dowels. Like if you put another piece right here, then the wooden dowels will go this way and then cover it up so you can't see it. But that will give it um, just a little bit more of a safety net so it doesn't bend over because it's still, you know, there's a crease right there. So if you bump into it hard enough and you get it at that angle, it will, it could fold over, which we don't want. All right, foam board. Um, so what I use is a white pencil, which someone recommended to me. For the longest time I was using a regular pencil, like duh, right? Um, anyway, <laughs> trace the outline. And it's gonna be okay that we see the white because I always cut inside of the line. So kind of like what I was saying is it doesn't need to be 100% covered. It will still give you, you know, really good coverage and stability. So I'm gonna cut inside the lines. So that way when we glue this together, and I already have my glue gun going right here. Um, when we glue it together, you're not going to see the foam board at all. So I am just going all the way around. I get a lot of questions about the foam board because people say they can't cut it smoothly. The smooth part, because I cut inside the lines, it's not going to look, I mean, it, it looks fine. Let me move this out of the way. Um, but the key is that you need a really sharp blade. So I use Excel blades. This has been amazing for me. Um, it just fits comfortably and it cuts so well. So you'll see in a second. What I like to do is I like to cut in sections and I like to do one smooth stroke. So for instance, I'll do this line right here. So you go inside the lines, right? And then just kind of follow what you drew. So that's one smooth stroke. And then I'll just do that so that I can start to move away pieces. On my bottom, I do try to sometimes, um, depending on where this is going. So if I knew this was actually gonna be on the floor, sometimes I will do just a straight cut across and just have the whole thing standing, being supported on the foam board. This I know is going on someone's bedroom wall. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut inside because I don't want the foam board to be seen at all. So. And you'll have to let me know if you do it differently. I'm always looking for tips. So this is just the way I've been doing it and it's worked, but you know, doesn't mean that it's the best way. Okay, 
so you see how quickly that was and it's it's smooth because I have a sharp blade. So even though it's not a complete, you know, 100% outline of the character, when I put it, when I put the character on top of it, it's going to look really good still. So And you see, I'm not being super careful about it. I'm just, you know, it's just one, well, that was more than one stroke, <laughs> but you, you just wanna be smooth about it so that when you put it on, it still looks good. All right, we're almost there. So my glue gun is already being heated. Um, and if you remember, if you follow me, I was um, Sure Bonders Maker of the Month last month. And that was, I've been using this well before that. This is my favorite tool of theirs. Um, I love it because it has a stand, a little catcher for my glue stuff, and it's cordless. So it's a really, it's one of my top favorite tools. All right, here we go. Almost there. This is when I get so impatient. I just want to be done. All right, so this side is done. Let's see if I can pop this out. And the other reason why you want to cut inside the line is because um, I don't know. Oh, you can see it. So if you really look, you can see the white coming through. It's because I cut it at an angle. It's just the way I hold my blade. So if you cut at an angle, it cuts out, it cu comes out a little bit, right? But because we cut inside the lines, you still should not be able to see it. But again, like you would need to cut straight down perfectly to match the outline and for it to not show. So, um, it, it's unnecessary. <laughs> Why make you, uh, you know, why work so hard? We've are, we're already working hard on this, so we don't need to make it harder. All right, there we go. So that is it. Let's put the character back on top to see if we need to make any adjustments. Because sometimes, you know, you saw how quickly I was doing it, so we may still need to make some adjustments. Um... I see a little bit right here that I can trim down a little bit, but I'll flip it over. Other than this little spot that I'm seeing, which is driving me crazy, I'm gonna cut it a little bit right now. Okay, put it back. It's all good now. Let me show you what the back would look like. Because remember, we haven't done anything, so it's not glued or anything. So you see the back, for the most part, we're going almost to the edge, right? I need to look at that again. And maybe this tip right here. So we'll see, let's flip this over and see if we notice that. Oh yeah, it's a little sticking out a little bit right here. But I like it because it's black, so you don't really see it. Um, okay, I feel like it's good. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna start down here and I'm gonna glue that part down first. So I'm gonna lift it up. This will kind of um, cement it basically, right, to our foam board, and then we'll flip it around and do the other side. So I wanna glue it where I still have access to other parts. So I'm gluing down this fist And now my piece is sort of settled, right? It's, it can't adjust that much anymore because so much of it is already glued down. And then I'm gonna glue down this little section right here. 
But because I'm only gluing this section, I still have access to put glue down everywhere else. Um, I need to erase this later. My little pen mark or pencil mark made a little mark right there. Um, okay, so now that this is down, what I wanna do is I like to flip it over and with my left hand, I'm gonna lift this up and I'm sort of bending it a little bit, rolling it up, but not causing any creases. You don't wanna cause any creases. But now I have all this open and I'm gonna go just down and add glue and let my project, my character, slowly roll down like you would in yoga with your spine, right? Like slowly one by one and so that the whole thing gets glued down. So that's what you wanna do. So I'm gonna lift this up and again, I'm gonna glue in sections. Now we're gluing basically up and down because we're rolling the character down and you can see that way I still have access, you know, to add more glue and my glue gun is running out, right? So I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna grab more glue. But this by default, it's it's gonna stay glued. It's gravity is coming down. Let me grab a glue stick. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna lift up. I still have access to all of this. And I'm gonna add glue. And then in another reel, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in the bathroom because that's the darkest room. We have no windows in one bathroom. I'm gonna turn off the lights and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, that's all there is to it. So let me show you what the back looks like, right? So it looks smooth. And then here's the front. You can see how big he is next to me. It's gonna be so cool, I love it. And here he is. All right, I will see you guys next time. Post in comments if you have questions. If you wanna see something, just let me know. All right, see you guys.